Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. I apologize if I look or sound rough. My buddy's bachelor party was this weekend, and uh, I'll, I'll throw up some pictures if I can find any good ones, but uh, we had a great time. I'm tired. I was supposed to go to Homestead initially this weekend, but that plan fell through even before the bachelor party plan came together. So I last year we went to Homestead, had a great time, ended up this year just watching the race on TV. That was such a good race. What a great win by Reddick in 2311. Last week I was actually wearing my 2311 shirt when I recorded the episode, but the logos I think sit lower than the camera sees, so probably didn't notice. If I can find a picture of that shirt, I'll put that in as well. But hey. On to today's race. So continuing the month of October, time to run Atlanta Motor Speedway. So I don't remember the last time we ran this track. I'm pretty sure it was quite early in the season before we did any real upgrades to the car. So I'm interested to see how, uh, how we run. I'll probably have to make some setup changes since we have upgraded the car, but that was already really loose <laughs> coming off the corner. Um, should be, should be fun. Yeah, so we already uh, smashed our previous best lap record. I assumed that was gonna happen. Um, the big thing is gonna be making the car drivable so that uh, I don't put it in a wall because it does feel super sketchy coming out of the corners so i uh hopefully can put some stability into the car and uh keep running fast so i did a couple quick changes to the car i adjusted the gear ratio because we were getting to the shift light before uh sending off into the corner and then i made a couple adjustments to try and tighten it off the corner a little bit um the hope is that it doesn't build too tight you know as I go on with the run um, because if that happens it might become a problem but we'll see and look at that <laughs> another four tenths off our best lap so I would say right off the rip we uh, definitely improved the car a bit um, I I think it feels better to drive plus it got faster so I'd say that's like a double win I think the next big thing to worry about is uh, how does our oil temp look because I think about 220 is the hottest you want to get it so if we're above 210 you know with no damage to the front it might be worth taking away a smidge of tape might slow the car down just a bit but um, I'll probably qualify with the setup that we've got now and then I'll decrease the tape a little bit for the race all right we might actually qualify okay that obviously depends on a lot of factors but if I can throw down a good run out the gate That'd be nice. Oh, lovely. I can't even get out of the pits without uh, almost crashing the car. <laughs> Hopefully we're able to pick up some speed before we get to the start line, because that definitely seemed pretty slow. Come on. <laughs> well, I ruined our lap and we're gonna start in the back. Fantastic. <laughs> what a bummer. Alright, let's see where we play. That is definitely, without crashing, one of our worst 
work starts of the year. Yep. Not great. Now it's time for Alan to tell us all about Atlanta. Welcome to Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. I'm Alan Bestwick. This ultra-modern multi-purpose venue has become the fastest track on the NASCAR circuit. 24-degree banking around the mile-and-a-half quad oval serves as a slick, super-competitive racetrack. Thanks, Alan. Get set. The race is going green. There's green flag. Car low. Car low. I lifted big there to try not to run into the back of someone and uh, thankfully didn't run into anyone, but uh, lost a good bit of ground. All clear. So I believe it said 40, clear yeah, low. 42 laps and that should be about two stops. Um, I'm clear sure low. the rest of the field probably can stretch it a little further than I can. I don't know how, how in the world he did not come back up into traffic, but uh, let's see. Yeah, a little bit of, ooh, why did the car shoot left when I let off the gas? That was unexpected. Like I, I know I made that little change with the uh, with the grill tape, but I didn't think it would make the car that free. Also, you guys got to give me a lane because you're slow. Go, go away. Thank you. All clear. I've already wrecked one guy coming through the field. I'm not trying to wreck any more yet. Hi, Hermie. Bye, Hermie. All clear. So, we are definitely pretty fast. Um, the bummer is when you start that far back, you have a tendency to get some damage like I did. And the time it takes to get through the field, great lap. the guys at the front just kind of keep driving away oh come on stick yeah right front is already pretty angry that's okay he'll be fine still there Give me room, thank you. Thank Hello. you. Still there. All clear. If I don't look at how hot the right front is, it can't hurt me. Stay low. Still there. Clear high. I think about the only nice thing qualifying way behind where you should is you get the nice feeling of passing some cars like oh, dude Robert oh come on you're supposed to save it without running there we go oh I don't think he crashed I think I've overheated my tires a good bit and uh, <laughs> I might not be moving forward too much more. There's a spin in turn four. Is there now? Ah, yes. That is a spin in turn four, all right. 
Now in most racing series, a car stopped close to the racing surface would be a yellow flag. However, in Dirt to Daytona, no. There's a wreck in turn three. Um, I just went through turn three and I saw no such wreck. Though I do see a car going very slowly. Oh man, we are still a couple laps from pitting and uh, our right side tires are gone. I think next run I am definitely gonna have to uh, be a little easier on the tires, at least for the beginning of the run. Rusty with his new tires is way faster than we are. Still there. Yeah, we are uh, out of right side grip. <laughs> Oh, we can make it at least till the fuel runs out. We're fine. I don't know what I'm whining about. The car head is pitting. You're low on fuel. That's okay. Oh, hey, we're leading. Let's go. But we haven't hit zero laps yet, so I'm going to stay out and get the five bonus points. Yeah, I'll be able to get back. It'll be fine. Look at us. We let a lap. Plus, if a caution came out right now, like, most of the field, I think, would be a lap down. nailed it so i think we were about 19th when the pit cycle started we obviously stayed out for an extra couple laps which probably hurt our um what 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 are we doing it's green flag stops Pace cars out. what are we doing i better still be on the lead lap what is going on with this game man i'm definitely a lap down now that's ridiculous. Why are we going 20 miles an hour? Like... <sighs> it never fails with this game. It never fails. Yep, so I went a lap down because of that. I love this game. It's so fun. Are we fast? Car high. I don't think we're fast enough to get our lap back, but uh, we're not slow, at least. Still there. All clear. You're three wide. Stay high. Still there. Car low. Can you not? I love this game. Car high. Still there. Still there. You're three 
wide. That's okay. Clear high. Okay, that's the halfway mark. Radical. Stay high. Still there. Clear low. Oh boy. All clear. And he saved it, he's fine. Oh, we got we got loose. Um Did he break something when he hit me? Oh, yeah. Car low. You're three wide. Yeah, the, the car doesn't want to drive straight car anymore. High. Um Yeah, that's uh, a little sketch for sure. Still there. Mm, we're fine. Totally fine. Well, at least I know how to make the car turn. But like, yeah, how am I supposed to drive this? Car low. Um, I am, I'm legitimately not trying to destroy the field, but like, this car will not drive straight anymore. Oh my gosh. We're so cooked. You're three wide. Clear high. Clear low. Fantastic. That is a car that is not happy. Not at all. All right, bucket heads, we have some work to do to fix this car, but I'm sure you guys are going to do great. Yeah, that 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 looks like a car that uh could win a win a race for sure. So it looks like we have pretty much a fuel run to go. I would assume everyone can make it, but they all pit before I did the first time around. So who knows? We are definitely going to try and save a little bit. Get set. The race is going green. Yeah, so it says we're one Clear lap there. short, but oh my god. Clear low. Car low. There's a wreck in turn one. We stayed Car out car longer low. than everyone did before, so all clear. assuming there's no caution, we just might be car able low. to uh all clear. make it work. Maybe. Car low. Still there. Car low. It's so funny yeah, when a slow I, car is like leading the bottom lane and it just stacks up everyone. Still 
there. Because nobody Arlo. can get around them. Oh, I think our buddy Dale just blowed a tire. There's a wreck in turn three. Clear low. Oh right. no. Clear. He's fine. He's fine. Right. No yellow. The yellow's out. There's a spin in turn one. Dang. Clear low. Well, I Car high. You're all clear. I'm just going to coast and not pit. See what happens. Actually, Pace cars out. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pit before pit road opens because this game allows that for some reason. As long as I get out before the field, I'll be fine. Make it quick, boys. We're good. We're fine. We got a free pit stop. I love this game. Love it so much. Hi, also, please speed up. Because, uh... The field is going a lot faster than that. Look, can we get a move on so I don't lose another lap? Any day now? So we are sitting 29th. We are now ahead of Junior after his little incident. Um, it looks like everybody's pitting, I think. So we will wave around, which means we just start in front of the field. Oh, well. I guess none of the lead lap guys are pitting. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Looks like the lights are off on the pace car, so I think we're gonna go green this time by... I wanna say there's like seven or eight laps to go. Get set, the race is going green. There's the green flag. So yeah, it looks like seven to go. There. We unfortunately, being the first car a lap down, the only way we can move really is backwards. Carlo. Can't really make up any positions forwards. Unless some of these guys end up needing to pit. Because there was about 15 laps. <laughs> As I said, I love this game. It's so dumb. Five laps to go. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these guys hit, I believe, with uh, like 15 to go was the the last time they had hit. Why are we four wide? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Clear high. Oh, come on. We're fine. Yeah, it looks like uh, the guys that pit already still came out ahead of us. So no, uh, no gain there, unfortunately. The car had it. Still there. You're all clear. So unfortunately, I think about a top 20 is the best we're going to be able to finish today. Still there. Clear low. Car low. I did not have a good arc in that corner. Thankfully, I didn't wreck Two to go. Labani and I, but, uh... Still there. Yeah, based on uh, this little strategy, I think only, like, a car or two had pit before. So... There's a good chance there's less than five cars on the lead lap when this thing ends. Lap 
Last lap. So I think we will be able to stay in front of Labani and unfortunately I think we're about a lap short of getting Ken, but uh for a 36th place start and uh getting caught with a unlucky caution. We led a couple laps and got a top twenty. Yeah, six cars on the lead lap, like this game is so dumb sometimes. <laughs> so dumb. So the driver that led the most laps, Jeff Gordon, finishes seventh a lap down because of mind-boggling pit strategy, I guess. This game's so weird. And even though it wasn't our best weekend, we did come home with $66,000, so gotta take the positives from every weekend and the money being green is definitely a positive and with that finish we have finally moved up to 22nd in the season standings we're only 33 points back of elliot sadler so i think there's a good chance we could probably leapfrog him too john andretti in 20th has over 200 points on us i don't know if we're gonna be able to make that up in the last couple races but i mean Based on where we started this first season of the Cup Series in the career, I really thought the top 35 in points was going to be a difficult task. So to be fighting for, you know, 20th, 21st place our first year is pretty awesome, I think. Also, just because we haven't really looked at the top of the points, Sterling Marlin in first by only 10 points over Kurt Busch. But, man, Ricky Rudd six wins but only nine top fives and then you've got sterling with only eight top fives leading the points like no wins for jeff burton or jeff gordon that's just crazy well friends that is gonna do it for another episode we finished better than i thought we were going to <laughs> after how that uh first caution kind of ruined the day but we keep stacking money and we keep moving up in the points so i i don't really know what else i can ask for minus you know somehow scamming a win but i was just about to start my outro and realized i forgot to ask my question of the day i was thinking of this before my first pit stop but it was like a lap before i was gonna pit so i'm like oh let me wait until i kind of get running through green flag laps again and then i forgot so, besides NASCAR, what other sports do you like? I went to a hockey game with my wife the other night. We have season tickets for our local minor league team, the Solar Bears. We absolutely love hockey. We also go to baseball games. I'm a football fan, but haven't been to a game in quite a long time. And same with basketball. Like I, you know, follow our local team, the Orlando Magic. But besides that, I, I don't really watch any basketball so let me know besides nascar what other sports do you watch and even besides regular sports like what other motorsports do you watch i watch f1 i'm also a big fan of formula drift but there's not really any other motorsports that aren't part of the nascar ladder or those two that i really pay a whole lot of attention to there's just so much so much to watch i can only watch so much in one day but anyways, a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.